Welcome to Grade 4 Mathematics, solving routine and non-routine problems in real-life situations involving perimeter of squares and rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. After going through this lesson, you are expected to write the formula for finding the perimeter of the plane figure, solve routine and non-routine word problems, involving the perimeter of the plane figures and share own understanding about plane figures. Our topic for today is solving routine and non-routine problems in real-life situations involving perimeter. What are routine problems? Routine problem involves using at least one of the four arithmetic operations and or ratio to solve problems that are practical in nature. Example number one. The tablecloth of a reading table in your classroom has a length of 95 centimeters and a width of 55 centimeters. Your group is assigned to decorate the tablecloth by putting lace around it. For the aging of the tablecloth, how long of lace is needed? Let us solve the problem. First, understand. The problem asks for the length of the lace. The given facts are 95 centimeters and 55 centimeters. Then plan. The drawing is like this one. This is 95 centimeters. Therefore, the parallel side is also 95 centimeters. This is 55 centimeters. The parallel side is also 55 centimeters. The formula to use is P is equal to 2L plus 2W. Next is solve from the formula P is equal to 2L plus 2W. P or perimeter is equal to 2 times the given length which is 95 plus 2 times the given width which is 55. Perimeter is equal to 2 times 95 is 190. Plus 2 times 55 is 110. P is equal to 190 plus 110. It is equal to 300 centimeters. Answer. The tablecloth requires 300 centimeters of lace edging. Example number 2. Clara rides her bike along the triangular path in the neighborhood park. The size of the path measures 3 miles, 3 miles, and 5 miles. How far does Clara ride? Let us solve the problem. Understand. The problem asks, how far does Clara ride? The given facts are 3 miles, 3 miles, and 5 miles. Then plan. So here is the drawing. This is 3 miles. This is 3 miles. And this is 5 miles. The formula to use is P is equal to S plus S plus S. Where P is the perimeter and S is the side. Then solve. From the formula, P is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 5. P is equal to 11 miles. So your answer is, Clara rides 11 miles in the neighborhood park. Example number 3. A vegetable garden has a shape of parallelogram. It has a length of 6 meters and a width of 3 meters. What is the perimeter of the vegetable garden? Let us solve the problem. First, understand. The problem asks the perimeter of the vegetable garden. The given facts are 6 meters and 3 meters. Next is plan. The drawing is like this. This is 6 meters and this is 3 meters. Since this is a parallelogram, 
parallel sides are equal. So this will be 6 meters and this side is 3 meters. The formula to use is P is equal to 2L plus 2W. Next is solve. By using the formula, P is equal to 2 times the given length, which is 6, plus 2 times the given width, which is 3. P is equal to 2 times 6 is 12, plus 2 times 3 is 6. P is equal to 12 plus 6, which is 18 meters. Your answer will be, the perimeter of the vegetable garden is 18 meters. Example number 4. The living room is in the shape of a trapezoid where one of the parallel sides is 4 meters long and the other is 6 meters long. The distance across these sides is 7 meters. What is the perimeter of the living room? Let us solve the problem. First, understand. The problem asks the perimeter of the room. The given facts are 4 meters, 6 meters, and 7 meters. Plan by drawing. This will be your trapezoid. This side is equal to 4 meters. This side is 6 meters. This side is 7 meters. And this side will also be 7 meters. Solve by adding all the sides of the living room. P is equal to 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 7. P is equal to 24 meters. Your answer will be, the perimeter of the living room is 24 meters. Next, we have non-routine problems. Any complex problem that requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. Typically, there is no immediate strategy in solving them, but oftentimes, it can be solved in multiple ways. Some of these strategies are creating illustrations, looking for a pattern, guessing and checking, and making a model. Example number one. Light posts are placed around a square park. There are three light posts along each side of the park. If the distance between the light posts is 25 meters, what is the distance around the park? Let us solve this problem by drawing a picture. So here's the problem. First, draw a square. Then each side, there are three posts. And the distance between the light posts is 25 meters. This will be 25 meters. 25 meters. 25 meters. The distance between the posts is 25 meters. Solve by adding all the distances between the light posts. P is equal to. By adding the distances, you will get 200 meters. You can also solve by multiplying 25 meters by 8. P is equal to 25 times 8, which is also equal to 200 meters. Your answer will be the distance around the square park is 200 meters. Example number 2. Jaden drew a picture of a barn with triangular roof. The size of the roof measured 5 and 4 inches. If the perimeter of the roof is 15 inches, what is the distance of the other side? Let us solve this problem by drawing a picture. So you draw a triangle with this side equal to 5 inches and this side is equal to 4 inches. So you will solve for this side. What will you do? 
add the two sides of the roof. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 inches. Subtract the perimeter to the sum of the two sides. The given perimeter is 15 inches. Minus the sum of the two sides, which is 9 inches. So 15 minus 9 is equal to 6 inches. So your answer will be, the distance of the other side is 6 inches. Example number 3. The living room is in the shape of trapezoid, where one of the parallel sides is 5.5 meters long, and the other side is 8.5 meters long. If the perimeter is 30 meters, what is the distance across these sides? Let us solve this problem by drawing a picture. So this is the trapezoid. With this side equals 5.5 meters. And this side is 8.5 meters. These two sides are missing. First, add 8.5 and 5.5. 8.5 plus 5.5 is equal to 14 meters. Then subtract the sum to the perimeter of the trapezoid. The given perimeter is 30 minus the sum of the two sides, 14, is equal to 16 meters. Then divide by 2 the difference. 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8 meters. Your answer will be, the distance across the sides of a trapezoid is 8 meters. Remember, to solve word problems, we follow the steps in solving word problems and then apply the formula to find the perimeter of a particular closed figure. Use the formula in finding the perimeter. Square the formula is P is equal to S plus S plus S plus S. Triangle P is equal to S plus S plus S. Rectangle P is equal to 2L plus 2W. Parallelogram P is equal to 2L plus 2W. Then the trapezoid, P is equal to S plus S plus S plus S. Some problems can be solved using different strategies. 